Hi, me again. And today we're going to be having a look at AutoCAD and in particular using viewports uh, on paper space and actually being able to see what the scale is on each of the viewports as we're working. Now this is in response to a, a viewer of mine who's he initially wanted me to write this as a lisp um, but actually there's no need to. So I'll demonstrate how to do this without using a lisp and that could be useful to people who are running the LT version because obviously you know you can't run uh, lisps in LT. So let's get started and in AutoCAD here I have just a random drawing and I've created a new layout here in paper space which has very different viewports on it and underneath each viewport it's showing the current scale of that viewport. Now if I go into one of these viewports and change the scale, so I'll change that one to 1 to 500 and if it responds I can now come out of that viewport and type in regen and it didn't respond so let's try that one again 1 to 200 let's change it to 1 to 500 now it responded come out of the viewport regen and the field is now updating now you do have to do regen to get the fields to update um, but this is very useful when you're actually working um, just so that you can see so you can get a rough idea of what the scale is now I would suggest that this is most useful when you're actually working in a viewport and you've done a random zoom if you just come out of the viewport and regen just to give you a rough idea of what that scale is what I certainly don't recommend is actually putting these scales on your drawing and sending it to a customer or printing them out because either of those things will encourage the person to print it as a PDF and as we all know printing drawings as PDFs the PDF default settings are to fit to printable area on whatever printer you're using so what that means is if you're using a printer that takes A3 paper it will expand it to A3 if it only takes A4 it will shrink it down to A4 or whatever your paper size is and what that will also do is expand differently in the vertical and horizontal axes in other words if you're changing from A4 to letter you're going to get a distortion which is different in one axis to the other now what this means is that people who are uh, kind of stuck in the last century and still use scale rulers to actually measure off a drawing um, they're going to take it for granted that if you say that something is to scale then it actually is to scale even if they themselves have messed up your scaling by printing it as a PDF so as a rule I advise everybody do not put scales actually on your drawing when you send them to customers use dimensions so put dimensions in here that show what something actually is so if somebody does want to use a scale rule they can measure off that distance and know what the distance is and again you should somewhere put on your drawing that horizontal and vertical scales may not be uh, accurate um, so if you're going to put uh, if you're going to put dimensions on here make sure you have horizontal and vertical dimensions so that somebody who is using a scale rule can still use it although why they do that I don't know if you've got enough dimensions on the drawing okay let's see how we actually go about putting these on so here is another layout and all I'm going to do is go to insert ribbon and I'm going to insert a field and I'm going to insert a field which is an object and it's this object here which actually is my viewport and what I'm going to choose is the custom scale and the reason I've chosen custom scale rather than a standard scale is the standard scale will only show the standard scales built in down here which I'll show you in a second whereas the custom scale will show ones that you've put in as well as the standard ones so I'm going to show 1 to whatever the number is the scale and there's a preview so that's 1 to 405 click OK and it's gone in huge because it's gone in as big as my um, my current text size um, which is actually set up for working in the model space not in the paper space so I'm simply going to select it and shrink it down using the scale tool so I will choose that corner as a base point and I will make it not point uh, not five 
Okay, so now we can see the scale, sorry, the, the actual scale. I'm just going to position that so that that's actually inside my drawing. Okay. Let's have a look at some issues that may occur and may not. Um, I'm going to resize this drawing here. Sorry, the viewport rather than the drawing. And I'm going to select it and make a copy of it. So using my copy tool, I'm going to choose from that as the base point and stick it down there. Let's make a few copies. OK, now let's go ahead and try to insert again. So let's go to insert and put that field in. So we want to choose an object and I come across here and I'm going to say I want that object there. Now this is where the problem can occur is it doesn't always come up and show that this is a viewport sometimes it comes up showing you that as a vector it's a line of some sort so you'll get different settings coming up here do make sure that you have this set to object if that's the case um, if it does do that what you have to do is create the field within the viewport before you do the copy then it works fine Okay, let's do the same. So we want the viewport, we want the custom scale, we want it with a 1, 2, whatever it is, and click OK. It's going to go in huge again. I'm just going to put it down here so I can scale it. So home and scale, specify my base point, choose there. And I want 0 0.05 again. OK, now I can move that inside my shape. Um, I could go through the same process for these others, but let's see how it actually works. So if I now uh, double click inside here, and I'm just going to zoom to the extents of that drawing, come outside of the viewport, type regen, and it's now showing me the current scale for that drawing. Um, and that's exactly what I've got set up on here. So if I click inside a viewport, I can either change it from here to adjust the scale of that particular viewport, or I can click inside one and manually zoom in or out. I must come outside, so I'm in my paper space again, not in the model space and regen in the paper space. That's what's important. And you'll notice here that I've got my standard scale and my custom scale both coming up. OK, Boris, I hope that's been useful to you. And for everyone else, I hope that's also been useful. And once more, thank you for listening.